There are big shoes to fill. Um, Raul is an incredible actor. He was on it for six years as the ADA. He had a great relationship with Mariska, and so just personally, like on, you know, not not even as Peter Stone, but as Philip Winchester coming in, there's a lot of like, gosh, this is someone else's playground. These are kids I haven't played with before. It's a There's a lot of that pressure kind of going on. But the brilliant thing that Michael Trenuchin did, who's our lead writer and showrunner, is he made the words so good and the character so believable within that, that it, it almost took the pressure off. And it allowed me to just go, okay, I have to trust what this character's doing in these scenes and just let it, just let it be. Well, it is the beauty of SVU, yeah. and it's why it's had the run that it's had. Right. It's because it's so well written, and right. because it's so, in a sense, true to life. Right, right, and and they know that. They, you know, Michael Trenuchin's been doing this. He's been writing on the show went back when it was in the Mothership, the original Law and Order. So he understands what people want to watch, and so I came on board. And there was, you know, there was a lot of intensity between me and Mariska, but it sort of made it. We came in guns blazing, and then off camera, we could go. <laughs> So how are you? Uh, wh who are you? And what's going on? And what's life like? And we got to know each other, you know, little by little as, as these scenes went on. But they were the scenes were pretty intense. Raul was brilliant because we, you know, I had that I had a lot of scenes with him in that first episode, obviously, where we cross over and I'm cross examining him, and you know, we would talk in between takes, and he would say, "Look, this is what it's like, and that's what that's like, and this is why the crew's so amazing, and this is why Marishka's so amazing." And he showed me he showed me what was up, and he I mean he was an absolute gentleman. He didn't need to do that. Could there be more than a working relationship there? Um, I don't honestly know if we can if we can do that. Uh, one thing I do know is that the relationship grows on the fact that they respect each other immensely, and that they know each other is damn good at their job. And that's where this that's where this relationship comes out of. They can they can disagree professionally. They can go at it, and they do that because they know the opposite person has a. They've been doing this their whole life, and they understand it. And also. Peter has to get himself to a place where he has to learn from, from Benson because this isn't black and white anymore. This isn't homicide. This is sex crimes. It's not black and white. There's stuff we don't understand. There's stories that are mixed up with drugs and alcohol and influences and things like that. And he doesn't understand that world. So he has to put himself in a place to be taught. With that said, how does Stone win the SVU over? I think little by little he shows that he's vulnerable enough to learn from these people who've been doing it longer than him. And he starts winning cases.